you know how many holes are in a pallet? It was a brand new garage door. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Three times. Right? Hey, what up? We're talking stories here with Aaron. You know him from Get Axed in Lincoln. Oh, my God. All right. You got to go into that story again. Oh, the one with 12, with 12 Bridges? Yes, yeah. you got to. Yeah, so we were there. Those guys love to drink, which is why I also love those guys because drinking the hand is always fun. Um, so <laughs> throughout the whole time, we're having a lot of drinks. And then we get to the end, and they want me to throw an axe in the garage at a pallet, you know, holy pallets, yeah. hard wood at his brand new garage door. Let's just say his wife wasn't too thrilled when she found out we did it. Luckily, I didn't miss them. All three in a row. Bam, hit it. We ain't got you on that one, so there we oh. go. Make sure you go left or whatever. So we're getting up both Facebook Live and um, we're getting up uh, YouTube Live, as you guys can see on here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We're on both. We got my small figure in there. <laughs> Oh, and we got Echo going there, too. Echo, so we're Echo. super producers here as well. In the studio tonight with us. And we're having apple juice. Apple juice. Yes. Right? Um, so, gosh, we got a lot to talk about. Oh, we yes, actually we actually do. do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've oh, yeah. had a pretty good week. It's um, been so much First fun. of all, the two shows we just launched this week were fantastic. Yes. <clears throat> but before we get to that, obviously, we got Aaron, Aaron. from Get Axe. Our very first show. Yes. Very first yeah, show. That was fun. So, that was fun. Oh <laughs> we sucked back then. We still suck, but we were yeah. awful, absolutely awful then. Oh, <laughs> but man. we've come a long way since then. So we got him as a guest live tonight. So we get to talk about all the new things happening again. Acts. Uh, we get to talk about just all sorts of cool things oh, with yeah. Aaron <clears throat> and having our apple juice. Apple juice. Small batch apple Small juice. Small batch apple juice. And I'm having my water like usual. Locally distilled apple juice. <laughs> anyway. And I'm smart tonight, okay? That's right. Um, so our first, the shows this week were fantastic. Mm -hmm. The first one, if you haven't gone and watched it, was Dennis Seaton. Oh, yeah. For Musical Youth. Oh, he's uh, awesome. Past the Dochi Dochi on the, on the left hand, hand side. side. We were on for like an hour, more than an hour. We actually cut it down to just under an hour. But oh it's goodness. worth watching. Yes. Because... Like, there's stories of him hanging out with NWA and the conversations oh, yeah. with that and uh, Stevie awesome. Wonder. Yeah, um, and the fact that he's coming back to L.A. to do a recording. He's going to come out with a new album. Yep. And I bet, and he invited us down to hang out with him. We're going to go road trip when he gets into town. Go see him down there. State. Then our So that was fantastic. Oh, yeah. And the second one, you guys have to watch. It just launched on, on Friday. Not enough people are watching this, but this is – one of those things you really need to watch the show. It is Jason wow. Doherty from Duraja Academy. He's a guy I went to high school with, <clears throat> had some trouble in life. He, he got into drinking, he crashed his car, had a bunch of problems, and blew out his knee. Just a year ago, we actually had his leg taken off because oh. they just couldn't fix it. We're just dying. So he had his leg cut off. But this guy had a love for Kenya. And it actually it was Tanzania, wasn't it, or something like that? Something like that, yeah. He was yeah. trying to do there and he couldn't get it to work, but he, he had gone to Kenya. It's all about Kenya and went in there and started a school for girls that are disadvantaged and poor. Mm -hmm. And they can't, most of those girls at 11, 12 years old are married off and having kids. Yep. And they don't get a chance at life. So this guy went and created the school in Daraja. He's sad he can't invite more people because yeah. it's all fundraised. So actually, all the, all the girls have scholarships to go there because when mm -hmm. you go to school after the eighth grade, you have to pay for it. Yeah. So all these girls that he have that go to school there, everything is fundraised for, and they all have scholarships. So it's yeah. truly amazing. So that you got to watch. You got to hear about how he did it. The girls, like he says, he's got 130 something daughters. These girls would have had no life. Yeah. And well, I mean, it would have been a life of hard, hard, hard situations. These girls are doctors now, yep. and business people, and lawyers, and some of them are in United States universities now. That's awesome. It's impressive. So you got to watch that show. Then we filmed a whole bunch of shows this week. Oh, God, yeah. Chris was filming with some people. I Robert, was filming with some people. We both were together. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. We have content Crazy. coming for the next month, no problem. If not more. So we're just going to talk tonight later about our schedule, just so when things come out and let you guys know how that goes. 
but we had somebody who was an actress, cover model. Mm -hmm. um, she was on Big Brother, and she was Penthouse Pet of the Year in 1983. Am I allowed to join that show? <laughs> you're going to have, have to watch it. You're going to have to watch it. She's incredible. She was so so fun. Literally, we didn't ask many questions. She talked. She oh, could talk. It. She was amazing. I think we said 12 your twelve words, and it was freaking awesome. It just go, 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 go. And it was oh, incredible. God, yeah. So we had that. You were uh, meeting with somebody. Yeah. Who, I met with a um, psychic and a good friend of mine. Her name is Sarah Grace. Mm -hmm. Um, and she, she was a paramedic and we worked together in EMS and boy, some of the stories that we had were freaking, we talked, you gotta watch it. Gotta I'm just telling that. you, you gotta watch her and talk about her book and uh journey into grace. Great oh. book. Oh man. We have an author that we're bringing that we've done. That's right. I forgot half of the people I talked to this week. <laughs> I, it was just, we were going all day, every day. Oh my God. Interviewing great. people. That are just so cool, yeah, so amazing, and all from different different ranges and all that stuff. So that's incredible. <clears throat> People that are on Facebook, we're also on YouTube live right now. Mm -hmm. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube, it's blowing up. We're actually pushing numbers like crazy right I now. Know. People so are loving us, um, which is great. If we get to a thousand subscribers. Um, we could do mobile lives, yes, which means we can actually go to events and do it live while we're there. We're talking about denials. Going to get asked for lives. We're gonna. We're that'll be our show. May end up on Sunday nights. I don't know. Are you open tonight? Oh yeah. They're, you're seven. I, we were we were slammed when I left. Oh god. So yeah. you took. We we're taking oh, business from this guy. <laughs> I know. We're gonna bring it over. He's taking get a break. That's what <laughs> he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there's so much going on. So you're gonna see this week coming up, which we've already promoted, which was Gary. the author. Talk about Gary. Gary's with Winning Shot. The Gary's amazing. He does uh, uh, action photos at all the sporting events for like Rockland and Whitney. And when, when other teams come, he takes pictures of them. So the other teams actually get these incredible action photos. Yep. And then he's always there taking the sports photos. And even he did, does like the theater department. And he goes and takes the photos. The guy's amazing. And he just started as his dad who started videoing because there's another dad doing photography. That's right. The other guy's dad left and he took on. Photography. Oh, and then he just started buying more and more cameras and, and upgrade. This guy's amazing. And then just basically talking to him. Great segue because just talking about somebody being a dad and doing videos. Randy Villa's on with oh, fast yes. pitch media and baseball media. This <laughs> guy is all over the whole West Coast from Washington, Oregon, Idaho, all the way down sometime and into Utah. He does baseball and softball videos. So ball players can get recruited by college coaches. And I'll tell you what, being a former recruiter, his videos are the best. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So that's so, going to be another story that we're going to have. Let me ask you this, weeks. because one of our interviews today offered us a link to some famous people. So there's some chance, chances. Like, if you follow Big Brother 9, anybody on that show is, is fair game. That's what we were told. So you, anybody you want us to interview on that show, we, we've also been told she could actually get us Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> right? So, yeah, this is crazy what's happening with this show. That's awesome. You have no yeah, idea what's so going cool. on. So, can we get him and get axed and have him throw him while doing the dance? Let's do it. <laughs> so, we, we got to figure out a way to do that. Like, so, she dated Scott Baio. Why not go for Scott Baio? Yep. She dated Tom Jones. Why not try and see if we get an interview Tom Jones? So much. Let's just go. We're making picking one up as far as we can go. We said we were had big things coming. <laughs> when we just, changed to what up, we're international now. Yes, we are. We're trying to bring you more and more and more and more. So and more, now more, that more. we've done Zooms, that's what's kind of bringing it wide. We want to bring it back to our community again. And there's a lot of reasons why we asked Aaron to come back. Because Amen. we're bringing it back to the local businesses as well. We'll get back out there again some more. Again, we want to get to 1,000. Hopefully, we can do yes. some more of that. There's some festivals coming. The Grounds, which we love you guys. You guys are always really supporting us. And we want to support oh, yes. you. you have, they have some events at the Grounds that are happening. Super producer, if you can pull some up and post it for people, what's going on at the Grounds. We're always going to want to support them. And hopefully, we can get out there. There's some, some swap meets coming up and some oh, events yeah. that you actually can go to at the Grounds. It's all safe and protected with the masks and everything like that. But... Just you know, big shout out to the grounds for supporting us and also inviting us to to to, to support them as well. So, 
Big shout out to the grounds. There's some other thing. There's the barn um, place. I know you have posted about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, God, I know I'm going to butcher this, so I apologize. Barn Underground, if I remember. Barn Underground. There we go. They're doing some, um, some. I don't want to call them parties, but they're just more gatherings and food and just so people can get out and go do stuff now, things that are starting to open up. Not only that, but we put a post up on Foodies of Rockland and Roseville to find – Give us your basically your favorite mom and pop restaurant you want to go to or that you like. Right now in the lead is uh, Granite Rock Grill in Rockland. Mm -hmm. So please um, comment on that. Comment here. Comment there on yeah. Facebook Live. Let us know because we're going to let you guys know <laughs> next Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. We're going to let you guys know who the winner is and where we'll be going. And hopefully we can have a little bit more fun with those guys too. Really All right. right. Yeah. So um, we've got so we filled in all the information we needed for the week and everything like that. Yeah. We did good, quick. Yeah, we did that fast. Awesome. Yeah, 10 it minutes. only took us forty-seven days, but we got it down. <laughs> That's right. We finally figured this out. Um, so let's talk about. I, I don't know. I just want to throw this out. I'm into the Netflix crime shows. Oh, my wife is too. Oh my god, my wife. Crazy. Okay. How to um, kill your husband? Yeah. In. It scares me actually. <laughs> yeah. So they got this new one about the hotel in L.A. and that the Cecil. The Cecil. Yes. Tell me about it. So I just got into this. Have you seen this whole thing? Yes. This this is where yeah. like, like this Night Stalker was staying. And yeah. it's in Skid Row. And it's this hotel. And and this girl vanishes. And I, I just got to the point where this girl vanishes. And there's just a lot of freaky weird stuff that happened in these hotels. I'm into it. So if anybody's watching this stuff and they're with me on it, I want to hear your comments about you know these crime shows. What, what's the next one after that that I want to watch? Because I really oh, yeah. get into these things. <laughs> Like, have you watched any of these, or it's just no, like, no? Because every time she watches one, my my life insurance for some reason goes up, and I don't I don't understand it. But you didn't know how it got up to eight nine. I, yeah, I, 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 I get it. Just so you know, this is recorded live. So if I'm dead next week, everyone knows it's why. Right. You're protected That's, under. Yeah. The, yeah, she'll uh, have to wait license on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> An hour, maybe. <laughs> That's all you know. The other one I want to talk about too. We gotta talk about one of Anybody watch a WandaVision? Yes. Wow. Okay, so it's on Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this show, it started off so funky. It did. And then it, what pisses me off, I'm swear, I'm, that's my swear word of the day, pisses. It pisses me off is that it's once a week. You can't, like, Netflix and just watch the whole freaking yes. season. You got to wait every <laughs> week like you used to have to do, like, for shows. Was well, stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. Give me the whole damn thing. Give it to me. <laughs> So it starts off really weird. It takes about four shows before you like start to go, okay. Oh yeah. This is getting interesting. And now it's like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Now it's so good. They took the sledgehammer and just went, here we go. Uh, so you if you got into watching it and you like quit or you want go back, get into it. It's getting so good. Oh, it's God, worth yeah. going through what you needed to to get through it. We're not gonna tell you anything about it yeah, because it's that. just yeah, you gotta watch it. Yeah. You know. So what the hell do you watch then? I'm into business all the time. He watches uh, get it. He I, watches people I throw axes. axes. I hope they don't come backwards. I mean, that's yeah. it. I'll keep my eyes open. That's a plus. <laughs> right on. What else do you got, man? So wait, let's talk about it. Sports. Sports. Holy cow. Spring training. Game started today, folks. Oh my Giants God. lost five to two to the Angels. But anyway, I tell you what. I was so, so, so excited for spring training because I'm a baseball MLB dork. Yeah. But the CC, the triple C double A junior college is going to have a softball and a baseball season. High school is starting up, but they're able to play both for their travel teams and their high school teams, which is kind of cool. There's a lot of travel tournaments going on right now throughout Central Valley, um, and throughout California, and I'm starting to see more. Um, I'm part of an organization called Prospect United. Boom. And um, last Shameless weekend, plug. yeah, <laughs> I know. We won our first <laughs> tournament for our 9U team and our 11U is playing this weekend, so I'm not sure how they did. I'm waiting to hear back from my boy Tommy, nice. see what's going on. And William Jessup in the area is playing some great softball. They actually, uh, oh, nice. last week or the week before, they – Beat number one ranked SOU with a great ball game. Uh, one of the ball players that I worked with for SOU this week 
through a perfect game. Oh, wow. So it's kind of cool to see and watch how everything's kind of coming. Yeah. I'm almost, as you can tell, I'm really excited and on overload. So nice. anyway. Yeah, that's all, and I just I'm just really happy that kids are getting back. In the, oh, yeah, the high yeah, schools yeah. in the the uh, the youth leagues going back. I mean, these kids just need this so bad. Oh God! Um, and safely, obviously, but boy, it is so nice to see that we're progressing cool. and that these kids are getting out there. Baseball's happening around here in the fields, um, and I wanted to shout out to <clears throat> Kelly. I know she supported us a little bit. Um, Hackney and her son today in her his little league, you know, the Golden Spikes, which is a team. Oh, yeah. here. Okay, Brent Hamp Hill, great guy. He uh, he's always wanted to hit an out of the park home run. That boy, he finally hit it today. But him. it was a walk off. Oh, Nelly! So it taken another step. Not only was it a walk off, it was a walk off grand slam. Oh, that's so a really nice that's job! Awesome. Huge props that to you. Awesome. That is awesome to have your first home <laughs> run be a walk off and a grand slam. That's Again, yeah, yeah, phenomenal. You got like so this is what I'm. It, it, the parents want to see this. The parents are needing this. The kids, you know, these kids are numb, just being stuck at home, or if they're at school, oh, yeah. they're, they get yelled at for being six, not being six feet away, and it's it's tough. So it, to get some normalcy back, I'm just really happy to hear that. Um, yeah. <laughs> what I really liked was driving over to the studio today. Is I actually saw kids outside playing. Oh, yeah. And I was just like, wow. Right. And, and I'm sitting there going, and I just kind of rolled down my window, and I was listening for a second because I was at a stoplight, and just hearing the kids, and I know some people are saying, oh, that's annoying, but I'll tell you what, it was music to my ears. It was like, I'm so glad that these kids are able to get out and, you know, have some normalcies. Finally. Yeah. Finally. Exactly. Phenomenal. You understand. Oh, heck yeah. I spent my whole entire life outside. My parents would let me come inside. Oh, yeah. I think they just didn't like me, but... You too. You know, <laughs> it works. It works out well in my favor. <laughs> you know, you come in when the lights went on. Yeah, and it's the way yeah, it was. Exactly. You know, and and actually, you my dad them. had this whistle. We lived like in this valley area, and he'd whistle. I'd be all the way on the other side of the valley. I could hear his whistle, and he knew. I, you know, I literally had ten minutes to get home, and a lot of times I wasn't ten minutes close, and yeah. I would still get there in ten minutes. Oh, but yeah. that whistle was good. I'd hear that, and I'd be coming quick. That's funny. Um, there. Got exactly. it. Exactly. So, anyway, so, again, thank you guys for joining us. I love a lot of people actually watch us after yeah. we've been live. We have, uh, like, seen hundreds. It. It's been fantastic yeah. to see what we're seeing. I know you can't always catch us live on Sunday. You know, you guys are all at church, so I get it. Um, <laughs> yes. We currently have someone watching from Gats. Yeah. Like, yeah, what up? It's oh. too loud to hear. Oh, yes, so he's going to uh he's going to uh watch the recording later. Oh awesome. that's awesome. It's that's Arrow awesome. Entertainment. Oh, oh right yeah. on, Craig. Yep. That's fantastic. Okay. I'd love to hear that. That's fantastic. Thank you, Craig. Let's amazing, talk about Craig. Amazing trivia host. <laughs> yes, so he does trivia at GetX on yep. Tuesday night. Tuesday night here. Packs the house. You gotta get reservations. Every Every single week we sell out. If you don't get a reservation early, you don't oh get my trivia. God. This legitimately no Craig trivia. is trivia master. Craig weekend. is amazing. He does it at multiple businesses. He brings people in, and obviously it's great for you. Oh, it's yeah. For him. Fantastic. Dude, dude's awesome. Love the guy. Oh, I like it. Hey, man, thanks for watching and jumping in. And um, Man, get, get out to his stuff. And he also, he's a DJ. Yep. So he actually DJs. He does weddings. He does parties. Man, hire him. Craig's fantastic. He's going to start doing an 80s night on our, at our place, too, so that's on Thursday awesome. evening. So, <laughs> so Craig We're was, about to get crazy today. Here's another great Spandex, thing. here it comes. <laughs> Hair up to here. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. So we did this as a live show to begin with. And I had another host, uh, Joey C., who's a comedian. And we had Craig, and he was like the sidekick and DJ for us. And um, it was awesome. We had a great night. It was us trying to figure things out. I obviously went online. I stepped into the host position. You jumped in as a co-host. Didn't need a DJ. Obviously, I went those. Joey, love you, my man. But this is where we went. Craig, man, I just he helped me get this going. So he he was part of the original um, nice. group that started What Up Placer. Yeah, and we did that at um, Blue um, Blacktop Blacktop Comedy, which is not it's closed at the moment. I did hear he's going to try and open up at some point yes. in the future, yeah. um, but we'll see. I mean, it's it's still weird, but that guy is fantastic too. Blacktop, he was really supportive of us. Nice. Awesome place. So 
we, if we could just always give credit to the people that just that's, that have helped us get going and where we're doing. <clears throat> have you heard about our paranormal things going on? No. <laughs> So I'm already intrigued now. <laughs> so we interviewed, we interviewed the paranormal group in Roseville, and they have a place Columbia where they go for paranormal nights. Yeah, okay. and we've been invited. Yeah, so we're talking about some of the guests that we want to want to bring. Obviously, get axe might need to bring his axes because we use ghosts. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have like these enchanted spells. I mean, we do throw at zombies. So there we go. Pretty so much much yeah, right. axes. Not that much I like it. I like it. <laughs> and through that, we got some more. Um, Chris got contacted by a friend. Really. Yeah, a guy that I went to high school with. Yeah. Uh, Wild Night Paranormal down in Arizona. Yeah. And go to Tombstone, Arizona. OK Corral. Oh, seriously? Don't worry, oh, saloon. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're, in the fall, planning on going to Tombstone, Arizona, and doing a, a live. We're going to do live session and video session. So it'll be all kind of a mix. Yep. We're going to do a paranormal out there. We're going to be talking about what we're doing live. As soon as we have our 1,000 subscribers, we can do that. Do that remote. Um, it's why it's in the fall, so we wanted to get to that point. But once you hit that, we'll be doing lives. You'll be there while we're doing it. It'll be late at night. We'll come in and out. But also, we're going to film it so we'll have actual footage yes. of Chris being haunted and me running out of there as fast as <laughs> yeah. Because that ain't going to happen for me. I'll be haunted. He'll be possessed. We'll be good. Like, Double E will be laughing at us. I'll know? be in the van, like, making sure I watch the videos. And you guys can go ahead and do all the stuff you want. <laughs> I don't like that stuff. But uh, we have another one that's talked to us, and they do um, the Auburn Courthouse in Auburn. Right. right. And they contact us, and they're closed at the moment right now, but they've got a lot of content they can share with us. We're going to do an interview with them, and then as it opens up, we'll be able to do a tour with them as well. That's going to be cool. So some freaking way, we ended up in this paranormal world. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and they all love it around me, and I'm like, I don't want to do this, but oh yes, I'll do it for the show. And we're gonna have a rare sighting at one of those events. Super producer Double E is gonna be in front of the camera with us. She has to be. Yes. In fact, you know what? We need you guys' help. Yep. We we should have a contest, and if we get to a certain number, then she has to be our guest on live. Yeah. Oh that. God, yeah. Some that we'll get them up with the contest, and then that you guys can follow that contest to make it so that there's a live you, that she comes on as our guest in yeah. front of the camera. I agree. We got to do it. It's yeah. gonna happen. Something's Does gonna everybody happen else agree out there? <laughs> with cream <laughs> <on> the face. <laughs> um, we need a pretty face. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's true. That is just it's rough right here right now. <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy, I feel bad for him. <laughs> He's sandwiched between you know two big guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here yeah. we go. So, um, man, I lost track. Man, there's so much we're talking about right I know, now. We're having fun. We're all over the place. Well, let's, let's, let's talk a little more about um, get out. Let's do that because there's uh, that's where we wanted to go. Yeah. <laughs> Well, not only he's here away from work, it's just freaking slammed. We need to get over there to go party. But he's got some new stuff happening. Oh, yeah. oh yes. So get does. axe. There's other axe places, but there's not really an axe place like right. that axe. And the reason why, he went and did his research. He went out and said, look, I, I went and looked at other places. And he says, here's what I like and what I don't like. And he went and made it his own so that you can come in and get stuff that is just different than anywhere you are mm -hmm. or going. Plus, he's got the dumbest pricing right now. Yeah. But it's called yeah. the Ridiculous. FC pricing. We'll That's just leave right. it at that. Yeah. We could understand and translate that for ourselves. But the pricing is ridiculous. I did what no other place would ever do during a time like this, and I lowered my price. Lowered his prices. I don't know why. And so it would be ridiculous for you. It's not because you're though. smarter than we look. Or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. Take no. your pick. I mean, we knew people were wanting to get out. They needed to get out. Yeah. They needed a release. Um, so why not help them get that you know, Absolutely. even easier? So, uh, yeah, we lowered our prices a ridiculous amount. Um, the support of our customers in Lincoln it's just been absolutely amazing. So we're nothing but happy to have done it. it yeah, I mean, we yeah. love it. We love having the people there. And oh, that, yeah. he needs a little. Oh, oh yeah, tip it off. Fill up with some apple juice. Tip it off. Tip it there off. There you go. And so then the next part of that is you have games that nobody else has too. Yeah, we You've do. developed and new games. ones and new ones. And so new we ones. got zombies. We've got tic tac toe. We've got put your friend in front of you and you play William yeah. Tell. Yeah, oh, wait, that's the know. best one. That hasn't happened yet. No, my wife's hey, man. Actually, a William Tell like 
imagery behind it. Yeah. <laughs> that actually is kind of a lot better. Yeah. And you do, then you do it if not, on. Then, it, then you hit the person. I mean, we could develop that That's one. That's actually really good. That's a fun one. What's new? So, yeah. So, <laughs> holy cow. What is His there? wife wants him to do that one. Yeah, That's no, what's no, new. No, no, no. Yeah, she's not getting it on. I'm <laughs> No, I actually partnered up with a buddy that I work with. He's super smart. He's so smart. Way smarter than I. I don't know how to do anything that he did. Um, but we've been developing these new games for months now. Mm. It has been a lot. Yeah. And so we're, we're finally there. They finally went live on all 14 base just this morning. So we've got a static target. It's If you were to go to another regular axe throwing bar and they're going to paint the target on that's what we got we got that yeah. if you want that some people like like that so we yeah. have it for you yeah. we also still have our mobile target we have the zombies we have the tic-tac-toe still but we've added some other ones the street game that was a blast start off with a big target low score work your way down to the smallest target possible. Oh, that is, that's actually really cool. Yeah, it's fun. It really, yeah, that really gets you to really focus yeah, in. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, and then we've got yeah. Connect 4. Yeah. But, I mean, what better way to pair up tic-tac-toe than with Connect 4? Absolutely. Right? If you don't yes. want to play Connect 4, you're you should. Well, that's right. Really. I know. <laughs> there we <you> go. <laughs> It's the game that I've been watching. You know, I'm always watching everybody. It's the game that's not the most right now. Oh, people nice. are that's loving awesome. it. I had a lot of people say, well, why don't you have a darts game? Well, we do now. You do we now. Two, we have two of them. We have dart boards. Large size dart boards for axes. It's oh, amazing. Three on awesome. one and cricket. Oh, yes. <laughs> With yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Talk about fun. It is so much fun. I might be a little biased, but they are fun. Oh, I gosh. mean... Holy cow. Just Chinese. throwing the axes is fun. Yeah. I mean, that honestly, we've done it. It was our first show. Oh, yes. It was so much fun. Uh, freaking it. Yeah. Now, these new games that you've yeah. got when you've wow. developed, you got to have more How coming. are you yeah. going to have oh, yeah. time? We're going to have more coming. Yeah. yeah that's, you got to just keep coming back. Yeah. If you can't just, get through them all, you got to come back. Oh, I mean, yeah. our last game is axed, it's our version of horse. <laughs> you actually get to move the target, make it as big or as small as you want, and that's your shot call. Oh, oh yeah! It's so simple. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Awesome. you can throw it off the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little Larry Bird magic. Don't do that. Exactly. <laughs> but, but, yeah, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> no, it's such a fun game. I mean, oh we we tried to bring so much variety into it. It's not funny. I think we hit the mark on it. Um, and luckily, my buddy's not going anywhere. So. You know, new games will be coming. Oh, oh yeah. my god! It'll, it's going to be a blast. You heard it first. So wait a minute, William, William Tell. William Tell. Lies. Good idea. <laughs> I don't know. I have to give you royalties for this. Or what? No, you're no, good. good. Man, we want to yeah, support you. I don't make any money off of it, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to have a cricket tournament? Ooh. Oh, should I have a cricket tournament? What up with Rob and Chris cricket tournament at Get Axe? That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know what would be even better with uh, the dartboards than axes? What? Throwing knives. Yes, yes. It would. Are you bringing the. Are no, you, no. Are you? Oh, yeah. yeah they're coming back. Wow. Yes. We're throwing knives back. We're waiting on the insurance to go through, and yeah. then they are going live, and they are so much fun. Oh, I've my already God. played darts with them, and I tell you what. There's nothing oh, more oh. really than throwing knives on a dartboard. So we've got so much fun. axes, we got knives, nice. we got ninja stars, now, we have <laughs> battle axes oh on yeah. the old samurai. We got katans coming at oh you. Oh my god, it's gonna be oh wait, we only have two things. Well, knives two and things. axes. Yeah. That's alright. Alright. That's okay. We're good there. Bowie <laughs> knives. <laughs> They're bowie knives. Throwing <laughs> bowie knives. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Anyway. Sponges dipped in paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's the paint night. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like it. It's good, right? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, my God. So you got to get over to get axed. Yes. It's slammed there right now. Yep. Tuesday night. Crazy. Crazy. Hey, Arrow Entertainment Crazy. and Trivia. It's, it's Sunday night. Tuesday so, night. Oh what do you got going on on Thursdays? Thirsty yeah. Thursday. Are you thirsty on Thursday? Oh, I know I am. I know go. they are. So hours. How? What are you not? What are your hours? Four p.m. to ten p.m. That's our reservation hours, not our closing hours. So okay. if you make a reservation at ten p.m., we don't close until you're done throwing. Wow. I was there until we were there until midnight on Friday and a uh, quarter till midnight last night. So Just keep that. 
Yeah. Nice. Good Good yeah. That's, that's, that's where that. the music starts getting louder. <laughs> you know, everyone yeah. starts having a little bit more fun, you know, so yeah. it's, it's, it's a blast. You Turn it up to 11, yeah. right? It's an amazing oh, place to work. Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. It's so <laughs> So, man, yeah, you get to get asked to, what, that, this is so exciting because there's so much going on there. No. And you can get there. You can actually go in yeah. and he's got, oh, yes. dude, he's got like the menu of awesome. Like you can get a bag of chips. Yeah, a bag. Large, large bag of chips. Big bag yeah. of chips. The people who laugh at that are just the ones who buy it. Like, oh, dude, no. And I, I'm not saying it's a joke. Like legitimately. Yeah. Like, large like you're not just getting a bowl of peanuts. You get like a big bag of chips. Oh, God, yeah. And they got they have beers. They got so they got all the good little. It's snacks. Like you, you go in there and you're eating snacks. We've got over a hundred options of beers now. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I know. Yeah, there you go. Why? Why? Why would I have that? I have a problem. <laughs> I love beer, and I, I, I've always told everyone I wanted over a hundred and one bottles. Are you going to start that Get Axe Beer Club? We are. Oh, See, I'm psychotic. Oh God, yeah. You know. I so yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Hundred and one bottles of beer on the wall. Yep. I get it. <laughs> oh my god! We have people who will literally like just go through our beer list, and they'll stare at it for five minutes. And we're like, "Do you need help?" Because it's just overwhelming. Oh, oh I believe yeah. it. So we, we're. I mean, we love. Everyone loves beer at our place, obviously. So we all have tried almost all of them. Um, so we know how to point you in the right direction. If you're getting a little overwhelmed with the options, we'll point you in the right direction. Get you some. That is so nice. So we know, that we is know so it's good. good. Oh my god, that is awesome! Well, where are we at? We gotta probably get on, huh? We gotta get. Oh wow, this thing. or that? It's it's not, a little this or that? It's like this and like that. Is there anything that we need to address, somehow. Super Producer? We're doing good here, right? We're doing good. All right, so yes, she talks. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, she has a shirt on that says "Nope." Yep. So nope. That's what we're dealing with here. She's like, we ask her questions like, "Nope, nope." Can we do this? No, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> All right, so our topic tonight, so this is a, this or that. You understand how this or that works. All right, so the tonight's topic is the technology edition. Okay. All right, so you get to pick what uh, what this or that, and we usually try to explain why. But she gets us with zingers that make it Oh, right. okay. Like it, you oh, have okay. To, but you have to pick one. Okay. All right, so the first one, do you text or do you call? Oh, text. <clears throat> Now, I'll be honest with you. A phone is not made for talking. No. Not <laughs> it's made for looking at Facebook. Yeah. No. Well, that too. But I, text me. Like anybody who knows me, text me. If you leave a voicemail, then you've been deleted off my phone. <laughs> and my parents have been deleted off my phone because they still can't figure that out. <laughs> not a nice um, shot. <laughs> but now they text. Me yeah. to my email, <laughs> yeah, like they text on their phone and it gets to my email so for some reason instead of my phone. So we had to figure that one out. I don't even know how that works, but I would text. We don't talk on the phone anymore. It's, it's I actually get annoyed with it. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't like it. Yeah, I probably want to do, not do Sometimes that. Sometimes it is really difficult to have a phone conversation with people, but when you're sitting there going. And then it's like 14 minutes later, and you're still trying to answer their question. Then you call. it's like, all right, dude, bro, this is what we, that's the only time I will is when I get like, that's true. So if you're yeah. like, I have a lot of conversations, like Chris and I, I'll call sometimes because one, we're on a thread with Super Producer, and then it's like, ding, 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 ding on her phone, and it has nothing to do with it. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I call and just pick up and talk to Chris because I just got to get through some stuff and not through text. Yeah. Or I'm driving, obviously being safe. Same thing with Super Producer. We end up calling because it's easier to do it that way sometimes. But honestly, it's text, at least pre-text before you call. Yes. I, you know, if you need to talk, hey, yo, I'm going to call. Right long with text. I, 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 I call you. Yeah. yeah it's, it's like, it's like the, the whole thing like, oh, yeah. If you go to a meeting for three hours and it could have been an email. <laughs> No, no, it never happens. Uh, never. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, uh, video games or computer games? Ooh, video <clears throat> games. I can't work all the keys on a computer. I can hardly work the thumbs on the video games. So I, there's that's intimidating to me. Yeah, I can't move that quick. I can't. I can't it. think that quick either. No, that's <laughs> no well, problem. I know you're right. <laughs> I need a little bit more on that. So what do you mean by computer games? If it's on a computer. <laughs> but you can have a video game that's on a computer. Okay, so which what console do you play it on? 
PlayStation, PlayStation, yeah. Xbox, Apple, Macintosh. Uh, I played on a Commodore 64. <laughs> I played on an Atari 2600. I played on What's a, an Atari? <laughs> What's an Atari? Atari? <laughs> I played on a Game Boy, <laughs> Game Boy Mini. Oh God! Speak and spell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, video games for 500, Alex. Yeah. But like, yeah. so one of my favorite games of all time was uh, Command and Conquer. That's a computer game. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. You can't really go to oh, play. God. God. I mean, but that one doesn't oh. cause a lot of thinking with the fingers. It's just... Yes, I would like to go. Do you eat right. the person next to yes. you if they? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Yes. Oregon Trail. Most of these kids today would they would die instantly at typhoid. True. They wouldn't get. They have no idea how tough it was to be on that Oregon Trail. <laughs> Freaking losing an oxen, going to have to shoot a little <laughs> dog <Don laughs> fox. Going yeah. They have no clue <laughs> what right. that was like, and it was oh, yeah. legit. And it taught you life <laughs> lessons on how to get through life under an apocalypse. You don't learn that anymore. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> on <man>. video games. <laughs> so because of that, I'm going computers. That's right. That's right. No. That's the only game we're playing on computer. Still video. Yeah. <laughs> Still video. You know, little MLB, the show, little uh, Call of Duty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And now the <laughs> virtual reality stuff, which is pretty sick, by the way. Yeah. I don't know. Video games are pretty cool these days. It's, it's just crazy. Yeah, it is. My yeah. favorite one is Wheel of Fortune. You know how slow that is? How easy it is to maneuver the all the thumbs and everything? Yeah. I don't have to think at all. Oh boy, good job. <laughs> it's a sim- I live a very simple life. <laughs> You're You're a poor wife. Wife. No wonder why she's, she's watching all this. Yes. <laughs> she is bored at home. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Uh, Instagram or YouTube? I'm Instagram now. Are you? I am. Yeah. With the business, I became Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I get that. It's just, I'm always on it for the business. Right. So. so I love Instagram. YouTube, you can find anything. Yeah, you can true. learn anything. Yep. You can watch What Up with Rob and Chris. Yes, you can. There's so much to YouTube. YouTube is the most amazing library of knowledge and stuff you shouldn't know and stuff that's really bad for you. I mean, there's a whole list, but it's the greatest knowledge of information ever imagined. I'm actually a professional mechanic now because of YouTube. Right. You didn't know this, but yeah, I can yeah. I can fix any vehicle in the world now because of YouTube. Yeah, I usually just say I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express <laughs> last night. And it worked out great. <laughs> so, gosh, you know, I love the Instagram because it's the pictures and people and all that stuff, and yeah. that's pretty cool. I got to tell you, just if you ever think of anything you got to do, you go to YouTube That's and figure true. it out. And you can find fascinating interviews and things about, like you watch a TV show that's like trippy or something, right? Crime shows. Then you go to YouTube and they got people that will talk even more depth about it. Yeah. Or a TV show that I like is um, Curse of uh, uh, Oak Island. Oh, God. oh awesome. my God. And oh you go God. online and there's guys that are there that have already figured things out from the show and they're like, why the hell did they dig here? They should have dig here if you look at the thing here. Like these guys are like into it. <clears throat> and even in the show that I'm watching now about the hotel, they have groups that sit there and they try to solve crimes that yes. are cold cases. And a lot of that stuff sitting there on YouTube and they're talking about it and they're commenting and they're like, hey, one of the things they were talking about is that somebody on there saw a foot. There was a second foot that was in there. And they're like, there was another person with him. That was people on YouTube in these groups that's hot. that are part of so it's interactive TV where you guys can comment you guys can be talking to us while we're live here mm-hmm. I think YouTube is such it, I call it underrated still that's true it's underrated and we were talking about there's some technology where you can kind of select where you go in some of these pitches oh, yeah. now and I can see YouTube becoming even more interactive which would be sweet right anyways that was our little crazy off to the side. Like a, what is it, Calder Dash on Netflix, <laughs> where you can pick and go like 47 different ways. Right. There's so never the same story. You can get into this really cool interactive. I think that's where we can yeah. go. That'd be extra. Because I don't think everybody's going to walk around these bubble VR things all the time. And no. You get headaches and all that stuff. But being interactive, I think, is the next thing. All right. So you are YouTube. I'm a YouTube. I, 
see, I don't think this is a fair question because <laughs> That's they know it's no, 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 there's two different. I mean, Instagram, <laughs> like, it promotes my business. So <laughs> right. I obviously love Instagram. Yeah. YouTube, I can fix my car right. that I should be fixing I because guess. of YouTube. So is that really on the same level? So this is an unfair question. <laughs> I mean, I learned how to make sourdough <laughs> bread on there. I mean, there, there's so much you can learn. <laughs> yeah. Since I learned I'm, how to edit video. Since I mean, I'm so into my business right now, and I yeah, wouldn't know how to do YouTube video, I'm going to still stay with Instagram. You know, Fair enough. I'm not going to go with uh, all the above, Steve, <laughs> because I like them both. No, I just, I, I just argued it. with this. She was shaking her head the whole entire time. What's the answer? <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, I will actually go with YouTube because my experience with YouTube has actually been a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, my experience with Instagram has been fun, but it seems like there's been a little more interaction in a different way. It's giving different opportunities. Um, and that's why I'm going to pick YouTube. Yeah, and it's given us opportunities to actually meet and talk to people yeah. that we never would have been able to. Yeah. Um, it's phenomenal how that's worked. Phenomenal. Use that word. That's one of your favorites. That is the word of the millennium. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> Get it right. So there we go. That's where we're at. All right. Next one. iPhone or Android? Oh, this one's easy. Yeah, yeah. no, iPhone. 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 I can do a lot with it. The camera's great. Yeah. It's better than it's the so Android. Incredible. Android, whenever I had it, when I had an Android, it crashed like 197% of the time. Yeah. So I happen to have the S21 Ultra <laughs> with the 8K video camera. Oh, uh, so I would, this thing, I would hate to go back in technology 10 years to get it into an iPhone. That's how far back they are. This thing, Smokes an iPhone. My kids have the iPhones, and I have I'm like, <laughs> watch what I can do. iPhone is really a, a, a copycat. I yeah, mean, they're kind of they're behind. They, they they're copy. Behind. They're like, oh, you have three cameras. I'm gonna have three cameras now. But if you're slow, I mean, it works out good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, so here's where iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> iPhone has an advantage in the fact that the way they connect between their phones is really awesome. Yes, that's that, that that integration is really amazing. So I give them a heads up there, but I got to tell you what the Samsung can do right now is just insane. So I got, I'm, again, I, I could have got an iPhone. I stayed because I, I saw what you can get. And then like most of the people giving them for free as upgrades are going to another thing or an iPhone, you're still paying up like $1,500 to get it for the whole yeah. technology, you know? And that's what yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> PlayStation or Xbox? Ooh. Yeah, I have an Xbox. All right. I don't have a PlayStation. Is it like what Xbox. level? Is it the newest Xbox? No, or? it's. I think it's the, it's the last <laughs> one that was that released. Uh, my brother works for Microsoft, so oh, okay. I got it for free. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, the answer is it's yeah. free. Yeah. It's what we think. It's better. <laughs> it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah. No. So, yeah, I got an Xbox. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> What do you got? What do you, what do you like? I've had both, okay. and personally, I like the PlayStation a lot yeah. better. I really do. The graphics are a lot better. It seems not that it's easier to work with, but it didn't take me as much brain power, which I don't have much of anymore, but it was just easier, and I felt the playing games came better to me. Yeah. Um, I've had it both. I currently with PlayStation 4. Yeah. Um, the decision is to go whether it's Xbox or PlayStation. What usually the decision is is what the exclusive games are on one platform that you really want. Yes. And I think that's where the decision – that's why I went to PlayStation is I want to play some exclusive games that Xbox didn't have, and I didn't care about what the exclusive was on Xbox. Ultimately, they're both amazing systems. They are. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to correct. They are. So the they're new phenomenal. one. It, so I'm going to go based on whether I get the new PlayStation or the new Xbox. And I think the new PlayStation smokes the new Xbox. The Cinco. Gosh, it looks just crazy. crazy. Yeah. Amazing. And um, and everybody I'm hearing is talking about the PlayStation. So it's it's probably where I'm going to go. So I'm going to go with PlayStation because of that. Fair enough. Yeah. I like a ball and a cup actually. Just. There you go. Hey, it, yeah. you know I have that. I had a hard time doing that. My record is, is nine in a row still. Not a boy. Yeah, right. It's not bad. Hey, I've gotten zero in a row. <laughs> I'm doing a <laughs> good. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm still sticking with Xbox Free. I mean, you can't get away from Xbox Free. Xbox Free. I would be all over Xbox Free. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Xbox Free. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you go. Tablet hey, or computer? I don't know how to use either, so Ooh. I have to stick with a computer. Uh, I don't even have a tablet. Uh, no. Uh, I'm as lame as they come. That's wow. a man. No, you're it's, not. Yeah. So but you're always working. You're like, I know. That's what I mean. <laughs> I would say computer, uh, and it's a yeah. laptop, but I, I can do a lot more on a computer. Well, I have both, <laughs> and I find me doing more on my computer now mm -hmm. because we're doing so much editing. Editing is the key. So yeah. I'm into photography and editing, and that's I, I agree. Like we're yeah. using. And plus, the tablet is just an oversized phone. Yeah, yeah. I can just use my phone. Walk around well, my yeah, tablet's yeah, like that yeah. big. You've seen that. It's ginormous, isn't it? Don't laugh. Don't do it. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to get Erica to laugh, and she's dying over there. Her eyes are tearing up, and she's not trying to laugh. So anyway. the consensus is computer. Computer. That too. That too. Okay. <laughs> Fortnite or Call of Duty? <sighs> I've never played either. Oh, really? I swear to God, I've never played either. Okay. You know what it is for me? I, I, I struggle with the forward and backwards and sideways, and then the up and down. We're and talking about forward. the video game. Yeah, no, that's I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> so many of these, that's the problem. <laughs> video game or in person. That's what that's the problem. You have to drink more of those to play yeah, video games. Maybe better. that's my problem. Yeah. I'm not doing it the right way. If I had to pick one, I've never played Fortnite, so I, I think I'd rather play Fortnite because I hear people dance a lot in it. You can dance with, like, like you're getting fun. ready to go in. So I've watched my nephew and my daughter play and I, I can, I've tried to play a little bit, and they just I just get killed way too fast. These kids are just really good at it. I mean, they're like five years old, and they're just like, ah, yeah, you're dead. Anyways, and then they <laughs> laugh at you. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> But the whole concept that you go into this world, and you're playing against people around the world, and you're just, what's crazy now is they get into teams. Yeah. They go in together, and then they, and that's unfair to people go in by themselves. So I don't oh, know yeah. if I like that, but. Like one person's healing people, the other person's getting the big gun, the other they all have this like concept in the like a team of four. Oh yeah. And you're like, that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Yeah. And interesting how it goes. Phenomenal. But then you got Call of Duty where I love the whole sneaking around, slicing somebody's neck from behind, yeah. snipering somebody from five hundred yards. I mean the, the that whole military thing of that game is really fun. I have one that I play called uh, Sniper Elite 4, which is like, you know, I, when I have to get the stuff out, I go and I kill Germans. I like and, that. <laughs> and so that takes a lot of my stress away when I do that. You there know? you go, I like it. <clears throat> so that one, you know, so it's kind of that military game I like. The Fortnite I've played and I can see the value of that from the kids. I can't figure it out. I can't do that either. I mean, I can kind of figure it out. Because they're building, like, you got to chop trees. And then you're chopping a car so you can get materials. And then you're building these stairs and your walls so people can't get you. But then you can shoot through them and break them down to get it's it's a lot where I just want to slowly in the shadows sneak up. And, mm -hmm. and then I get like into a helicopter and I'm just blowing everything up. And I don't know, there's something <laughs> about that that I love. I get it. Yeah. I really get descriptive into my answers, don't I? You know, I gotta tell you, I'm picking up though what you're throwing down. Oh, so you know. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> For me. I'm not a big Fortnite fan just yeah. because I'm freaking horrible at it. <laughs> so I'm not a big Fortnite fan, but Call of Duty all day long. Let's Call go. of Duty, any of those kind of games, I love those kind of games. Yep. Absolutely. I used to get really sport games, you know, playing in football or but, but you know what? You start to learn their little like secrets where nobody can stop a pass or a certain run yep. or Which how to blitz. That's why I like you start to pick it up, doesn't matter what level, and you can just destroy anybody or yeah. any team and it gets boring because you're like, ah, oh, just sack him here. And, oh, okay, here's a bomb touchdown. And I can score hundred points in the first quarter. And it gets boring after a while. So this stuff is kind of cool. So what sniper leads cool is that you can get into like crazy things. They have an online and you play like a Fortnite where you're against people. But when you die, you come back to life until the time's up. Yep. So you're getting how many times you kill somebody as opposed to times you get killed. That's actually really cool, yeah. the online there. So I do like – and they just started getting into that online world. Yeah. It's just really cool. Okay. But then they're cool because when you sniper somebody, 
and you get them, but there's a flash, and then they know where you are after you kill somebody. So you got to get up and move. I'm out. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm move on from that one because we've been on a long time. Next is movie theater or Netflix. Netflix all day long. <laughs> oh, I so miss movie theater. So do I. Uh, I hate not being able to pause it, go to the bathroom, have my own drinks and food. I like it's a lot cheaper. Own. It's time, well, I don't know if it's a lot cheaper paying for Netflix to buy every month. Yeah, yeah. consistently, it probably adds up to more than what you would spend in a movie theater. But Netflix, I need that ability to go to the restroom. Plus, yeah. if I don't like something, like go to a movie theater and pay twenty bucks to go watch it, and I didn't like it, I'm more annoyed yeah. than if I just Netflix, had Netflix. Netflix. Just like, yeah, <laughs> I so many times I'm ten minutes into something, I'm like, I'm already bored out. Yep. Yeah, you can check out. Tell someone tells me how good it was four seasons or four episodes later, and I'm like, well, that's that's true. It's a good old WandaVision. <laughs> WandaVision. There's some good stuff that people that didn't even watch. There was one, if you ever get a chance to try and look at it on Netflix, it was called Lock and Key. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, most they, they, People don't watch it. I guess they didn't really figure out what it was. That was a phenomenal movie. Huh. It was so well. It was you know because they break it series, 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 series. Yeah. but ultimately it was a movie. Right. Yeah, and it was paranormal, but it wasn't. It was it, it was became supernatural, and it was like it was. I don't want to say the word all the time. It was such a great show, and it's I was trying to tell everybody. Word. I know, but I don't know. Netflix is incredible at the same time. I just miss the movie theater. I do too. I, I really you know. do. I mean, if I, I, I miss the overpriced the right popcorn. Now, but... With the old, all that butter. Oh, you can't go back on your no, answer. I'm sorry. Saying, no, I'm, I'm still saying that at 9.9% of the time. I get it. This is a good one because it's Poppy. actually, that's a hard mm -hmm. one to decide, but it's it's it tears at growing up in movie theaters, and that's all you had. Yeah. There's a huge part of having Netflix, which is great, but I just miss being able to go. I want to go watch Avengers on the freaking big screen. Something on, feel a, that. Oh. something on a big screen is a whole other level. I didn't even like him as a kid. Really? It's all about that pausing if you don't want to go to the bathroom thing. I can understand. I don't want to pay for something and then miss it. And then I'm sitting there holding So it here's what I feel hand. about the movie theater. There's always a part of the movie that you know you could miss because it's going to be this whole like boring part. And you got enough time to go get another thing of popcorn <sighs> and soda and go to the bathroom. About the time you get back to what happened, they're like, no. Okay, you know what I do miss about the movie theater stuff? Previews. Yeah, I am a huge fan of previews. <laughs> I don't know why it's so stupid, but I'm like, oh my god, I really want to watch that movie. I forget like next day what they were, but the previews. I don't you know, know that you can pull up trailers on YouTube, right? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that ball Another one for YouTube. Tells me how simple I am. I, know. I got you. I got, I'm here. <laughs> we're here for you. All right. <laughs> Oh, we got a couple more here. We, we've gone long tonight, so but yeah. we've got a great guest. So yeah, we do so much better when we have a guest. Such oh a god, yeah. Oh my gosh, and then apple juice helps too. So yeah, just a little bit. Book or ebook? Book. Oh. I need that hard pages. I'll flat out. I can't do ebooks. I will say that I'm gotten into audio books. So you do. It's the lazier style. Well, the actually even better <laughs> is because I've been trying to learn a lot of stuff about social media and, and video and marketing and all mm -hmm. that. So that stuff is hard to just break into and read and enjoy sure. it. So I've been taking those books oh, hardback yeah. and reading and having the audio book at the same time. And I get through it. And it's like when I hear that author talking, it's almost like I can understand what he's saying and trying to teach me. So I got into that <clears> mix <throat> and it made me get through that. But if I want to do something for enjoyment, it's a freaking book. It is absolutely, you crack that freaking binder, you crack into those pages, and you start reading, and you get a movie going on your mind, and you're creating it from your own thought of what this person looks like. There's nothing better than that. And I wish people would go back to reading books. There's, well, let's talk about somebody local, the bookseller, right here. Oh, in yeah. Sure. <clears throat> and um, Debbie is one of the most amazing women that I've met. And she's got this incredible used bookstore right down in, um, in Lincoln, right mm -hmm. there off of Lincoln Boulevard. We come in the store. It's a little, little tiny shop. She dresses it up for Halloween. She's really big into nice. Harry Potter. And she has new books too. But if you go in there, there are so many used books. And I used to bring my girls down there when they had to read for school. And we would pick out books. It was such a great oh, resource. Cool. 
And then we'd go, well, she's not really liking this type of series. And she would refer a great series that the girls got into. So Debbie is fantastic. Yeah, Super Bridges, let's give her credit. The bookseller, please go to the bookseller. Support mm -hmm. that business. Oh, yeah. Go get some books and get involved in the reading. It's so fast. Yeah, let's show us this. Yes, so, yes. Well, that's – don't get too far into that, but let's talk about Oh, that yes. Now. Well, like I said earlier, this is uh, my girl Sarah's book, Journey into Grace. I'm just going to leave it there because you guys yeah. got to see it. I got to read that. I got to get one of those. There we go. Yes. That's awesome. Fantastic. Yes. I can't wait to see the show. So I actually kind of want to watch the show and then read the book. Yeah. All right. There we Interesting. Go. This is our last card because we're going to come up on an hour here. We've never gone that long. Wow. I know. It's fun when you're just having a fun talk. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I like it. So you guys like go. it out there? I don't hear it. I don't, I don't either. either. I, I know. I don't know. It's quiet. My psychoticness isn't pick. I mean, psychicness <laughs> isn't picking up on it. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Last one. Here we go. Bows or beats? Ooh. I got my beats. Yeah. Got my beats. I've I've been both for so long. I don't know if I could go to beats. You know what? For the I, for me, the value for quality is 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 it better? It's better. Is it really? So I'm willing it to look, I'm willing to look into that. I and I purchased the, the better the the highest ones that they had. The best yeah. ones they had. I tell you what, they're comfortable. Aren't they Dre, Doctor Dre yeah. and stuff? I, cool. which, yeah, that's. I think Evan and I said it best. Don't forget about Dre. Yeah. yeah. You know, beets, beets. Well, I've never used beets, and I don't like to eat them, but I'm more than willing to try them. Got it. I, I've got to try the beets, <laughs> um, but I've been both, so I have to pick both because I've never actually tried to use beets. So I'll pick that for now, but I will be checking out beets, believe it or not. Yep. They've got awesome. a lot of different versions, too. Yeah. In theirs. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. I'll have to check those out. Yeah. They're great for the gym. Okay. They are. Uh, I mean, yeah, they're, they're awesome. Airplanes? Yeah. The noise oh, cancellation yeah. on them is See, actually. That's where I was all about the boats. The noise cancellation. cancellation. I was sitting it's right so next good. to my wife and my crying baby, and I couldn't hear it. Well, hey. It was absolutely perfect. amazing. I pretended like you I was asleep. I was just going to say, it's perfect being next to the wife. You don't have to hear it. Anyway, I know. Sorry, you're right. Right. Oh, Hi, honey. Oh, love oh, you. Oh. I know you're going to slap me yeah. for that one, and I deserve it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. Here anyway. Go. Yep. So that was it. We just did this or yeah. that. We did it with Aaron. That's fun. Get this out. guy. Oh, my gosh. So much fun. Oh, thank um, you. We've like got always. so much coming. Yes. There's so much that we've already done, and that we just got to get into the schedule because we're, we're yeah. yelling it. We got more coming. Wow. We've really stepped it up. And don't forget, go say hi to Aaron. He yeah. likes it when people come in and say hi. Oh, seriously, the rates are incredible. Throw the some things at people. You know, it's fun. I mean, that's all. I get those party. mixed up. <clears throat> Trivia. Trivia 80s. Yeah. yeah. Karaoke. That's just because we're all singing to the music. Hey. And then hopefully we end up alive there at some point soon when we hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed oh, yes. to the YouTube channel, subscribe. subscribe. We're, Join we're us. growing fast. We're going to hit it and actually probably, gosh, I don't know, maybe this week even. It's been growing fast. Oh, yeah. But don't, be, don't miss out because it's mm -hmm. happening. So. And don't forget to vote on our foodies. Yes. Rockland and Where are you guys going to take us to eat? You yeah. guys mine? We want to know. So that'll be good. You'll find out next Sunday. And we haven't gone back on our Tuesday uh, little, um, we got to go back to Kim's. So we want to give a plug to Kim's yep. because we usually go there for our little meetings. Uh, Kim's Country Kitchen. Support so them. Right. They're yes. so good. The food's so good. Right. The oh owner is amazing. <laughs> the people Amen. that work there are unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's great because we walk in there. I feel like I'm walking into Cheers. Yeah. Uh, it's like that. Hey, feel like they, Norm! It's local neighborhood. Just It's such a fantastic place to go. Oh, yeah. The food is so good. So let's give a shout out to Ken's Country Kitchen. Definitely. Go there if you can. I, I, I just highly recommend it. Go in there. It's breakfast, lunch. They have stuff for healthy. Yeah. They got key. You know, friendly stuff. Look at me, I'm healthy. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, I think that's it. We could, um, wow, we hit it over an hour, so we might as well kill this off because they're probably tired of looking at our faces. Yes. Yeah. All right. So and we know Super much. Producer is, but anyway, <laughs> Aaron, again, thank, thank you, you, sir. So much. What up?
What up? Yeah. Have a good one, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Thanks for playing.